Hello there, I'm Christina Stevenson. I'm an author and an illustrator. And this is my dog, Billy. She's lovely, isn't she? Billy's named after a very famous jazz singer called Billie Holiday. But this Billy doesn't sing. No, no, she barks a bit sometimes, but her real talent is writing. Yes, Billy the dog helps me write my stories. She doesn't actually hold a pen or a pencil and she doesn't tip tap away at a computer. No, what Billy does is take me walking every day, sometimes twice. And it's when I'm walking away from the hustle and bustle of life that I come up with the ideas for my stories, like this one. I can't tell you too much about it yet because it's not actually out until November. But what I can tell you is it's about a little boy called Sensible Serious Norbert Norris, who knows all the important things, like the name of every dinosaur and all the planets in the sky, and that when a camel only has one hump, it's called a dromedary. He knows about sums and sizing shapes and sounding out really big words. Yes, sensible, serious Norbert Norris knows all the important things. And then one day, to his surprise, he gets an invitation. An invitation to, well, a museum. But not just any museum. This is the Museum of Marvellous Things. And sensible, serious Norbert Norris is about to discover something really rather incredible. But like I said, the book's not actually out yet, so I can't tell you any more about the story. But when Billy and I were out walking yesterday, we did think of something really fun that you might like to try at home. Why don't you pretend that you're the curator of the Museum of Marvellous Things? Now, a curator is just another name for somebody who looks after the museum. So you could make your own incredible exhibition and you could invite your family or your carers to come and see it. It's really easy and it's lots of fun. And best of all, everything's made from stuff you've probably got around the house already. So what you're going to need is some flour, some salt, some water, a mixing bowl and a spoon, some empty jars in lots of different sizes, some paints, some paper and some cardboard from an old cardboard box. Oh, and a pen will come in handy, and you're going to need some glue, but you can use flour and water mixed together for glue if you like. And here's what you're going to do. Oh, bye Billy. Put four cups of flour into your bowl with one and a half cups of salt and one and a half cups of water. Stir everything together with a spoon, then with your hands squish and squidge it into a doughy ball. You can add more water if you need to. And when it feels like a mouldable clay, you can start sculpting. Now, remember this is your museum, so you can make whatever you want. But here are some little creatures that I made with my clay. You'll need to leave your models to dry and go hard. This could take a day or two, or you could ask a grown-up to help you bake them in the oven on a very low temperature for an hour or two. When the models are hard and cool if they've been in the oven, you're ready to paint them. Now then, 
Remember those jam jars? Well, they're a really good way to display your models. You'll need to soak them in some warm, soapy water to get the labels off, and you need to paint the lid inside and out. Acrylic paint is probably best for this. When the lid is completely dry, you can stick on one of your models. I'm going to use this one. Some little clay creatures that I've painted and stuck onto a twig, which I found when we were out walking. So, put your model on your lid like so, and when it's nice and secure, you can take your jam jar, oops, and put it over the model. So it's really beginning to look like an exhibit in a museum. To make it extra special and really make it look like a display case, you can take another painted jam jar lid and you can stick this one onto the top of the second lid like so. Finally, you can make some little labels for your models out of cardboard and paper. You can really use your imaginations to think up some interesting or silly names for your creatures. I've got num nums, doodars, spiky spindles and Kevin. But you can think up any names you want to. You can even make a leaflet for your museum if you want to and you can tell people where your creatures came from, what sort of things they like to do, anything you want really. Then you can invite your family and your carers to come to your museum of marvellous things. Billy and I are off for a walk now. Come on, Billy. But we hope you have lots of fun and we'd love to see what you make for your museums. So enjoy yourselves. Bye for now.